Hello, this is EMS for SolidWorks Tips and Tricks and my name is Arvind Krishnan. Today we will be looking at how to create air geometry. Air geometry is an indispensable part in doing a magnetic simulation. One cannot do most magnetic simulations and electric simulations without creating an air geometry. Why is that? It's because the magnetic field and the electric field is also propagated through the air and hence it's important to create an air geometry to capture these fields. Let me now show you how to create an air geometry for this assembly. First we need to create a new component and then we can just create a sketch in this case, I'm just creating a rectangular sketch and I can go ahead and extrude that sketch using the midplane option so that the sketch is extruded in both the directions. Now, the most important thing that needs to be done is to subtract out all the inner components from this air geometry. So to do that, I use the cavity option inside SOLIDWORKS and here I can use the window select so that I can select all the components that reside inside this air box. Then when I say OK, the cavity is created. I can go ahead and rename this as air box and voila, I now have an air geometry that is now ready and now the model can be analyzed using EMS for SOLIDWORKS. Thank you very much.